In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a ghost monitor to your laptop, just as the one screen, to give yourself a second screen so you can use full presenter view in a Teams or a Zoom meeting. Now, how do we add a ghost monitor? Well, we do it through a virtual display emulator plug, and that's what you see right now. This is a photo of it beside a quarter. So you can see how small it is, and you can see it has an HDMI port that plugs into your regular HDMI uh, connector on your laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, plug it in on my uh, connector here on my laptop, and what you're going to notice, there's the connect in, and you can see that my laptop now says it has two displays. Even though all I've done is plug that tiny little plug in, so it doesn't take any space on my desk, you'll notice I have screen one and screen two, and I can click identify, so that tells me screen one is my laptop screen, and screen two is this, this ghost monitor. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that this says extend these displays, so the default might be to duplicate, but you want extend because you need extend to be able to run full presenter view. The display resolution of your second, your ghost monitor here, it will default, and mine, uh, this plug defaults to 1920 by 1080, which is fine. You don't need anything more than actually uh, the, I'll scroll down here, uh, 1280 by 720. You could get away with that, so if you want to go with a lower resolution, so there's not maybe as, as much uh, information being sent through the meeting platform, if you have people on lower bandwidth, they'd appreciate it. But we can select 1920 by 1080, that would be the highest I would set it to. And now my settings are telling me I have two monitors. I'm going to go over to PowerPoint. I have a presentation set up here. I'm going to go to the slideshow ribbon, and I'm going to say I want to use presenter view. And now in the monitor dropdown, I can select my second monitor, monitor 2. Now, it has a number of letters and, uh, and numbers after it, but uh, those are really just sort of usually the chipset or some other identifier. So I'm going to say I want the, the slideshow to be on this second monitor. So now I can actually start up presenter view. So I'm going to say slideshow start from the beginning. And I see presenter view on my screen. But where is the slideshow? Well, the slideshow is on the other screen that is attached through this ghost monitor. So it's the it's on the ghost monitor. How do I know that? I'm going to go to the display settings and say swap presenter view and slideshow. And now I've swapped them. So it's showing you that there are two screens. Now how do I get back to presenter view? I'm going to go to the three dots down here and say display settings, swap presenter view and slideshow. Okay, so now I'm on presenter view and I can go ahead and move through my slides as I normally would, no problem, everything works. And when I want to share this in a Teams or Zoom meeting, so you notice I have a Teams meeting going, I'm going to reduce the size of this uh, presenter view here so we can see what's, uh, what else is going on. So I'm going to go back to my Teams. And in the Teams sharing dialog, and the Teams sharing dialog will look a little different depending on how you're connecting. But you'll notice I have screen one and I have screen two. So I now have a second screen and I can share that screen in the meeting. So what I can do is, is I can actually have that second screen being shared in the meeting. And what I'm going to do before I share it is, uh, as the organizer, I'm going to turn on the uh, recording of the, uh, the meeting so that we'll dismiss this message so that you can, I'll show you what the recording looks like. So I'm going to say share that, and that's now sharing in the meeting for everybody. And when I go through, and I continue to click through my slides, I have all of the content that I want in presenter view, my slide, my next build, my notes, everything is there. And the audience is only seeing the full slides that I'm sharing off of the ghost monitor. Now, what if something gets onto the ghost monitor and you, you need to get it back to this monitor? One of the options that you have is to actually uh, use a built-in Windows function. So you'll notice in the settings here, my ghost monitor is to the right of my laptop monitor. That's what I have set it up as, and that's the default uh, the way I set it up before. So if I have, let's say I have a, a Word document, and I'm just going to open a blank Word document here just to show you what this looks like. 
And let's say I take my Word document, make it smaller here, and I'm going to drag it so it actually goes on to that second monitor. Okay, let's grab this window here. And now I can't, I can't move it. I can't move it anywhere. So it's on that second monitor. You can see that on the, on the, uh, the recording. How do I get it back? So one of the things you can do is something is on that second monitor. You want to get it back. Go to the taskbar on your laptop and you'll see the window open up when you put your cursor over the particular application and move your cursor up to that particular window and right click. And now you'll see some options. One of the options is move. And once you use the option of move, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to actually move the window back to where you can see it. And then you click your cursor to release it. So I can close Word because I don't need that anymore. But I just wanted to show you that in case something ends up on that second monitor that you didn't really intend to be on that second monitor. So when you're done, you can simply go back to Teams, stop sharing, and now Teams goes back to the regular meeting format and then I can go ahead and my slideshow and continue on. So this is how you can add a ghost monitor using a virtual display emulator plug, add a virtual monitor, this ghost monitor, to your laptop so now you can use full presenter view when presenting in Teams or Zoom. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.